Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dodsification YouTube channel and today we are taking a look at the Weta statue of Foreign Oaken Shield. Now this is a standard release. There was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, released back in uh, 2012 uh, which basically is exactly the same. It just featured the oak shield um, sculpted just here attached to his belt. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't have that version, but this is just the standard release. And I've got to say, this is an absolutely wonderful piece. If you're a fan of Foreign Oak and Shield, this is definitely something you definitely want to add to your collection. I mean, the detail on him is just absolutely perfect. Um, like I said, it was created by Weta Workshop, and that's the m movie company for The Hobbit. So just absolutely fantastic. It's got a really good likeness of Richard Armitage and his prosthetics, so... Yeah, just amazing. They captured uh, Foran very well. I mean, we'll take a better look at his head sculpt right there. I mean, that's fantastic. Um, I even love the pose. The pose they got him in is this really nice, you know, battle-ready Foran pose, which is just absolutely fantastic. Um, you can see on his fingers, he's got his ring. And yeah, just the skin tone on him is painted very nicely. I absolutely love it. Um, the fur on his jacket as well is just absolutely superb. Um, his chain mail is also great. His gauntlets, uh, his belt, you know, just everything detailed to perfection. And his boots are just outstanding. Now, as you can see, the base on him is um, it's really cool. It's a sculpted base. It's basically um, his map. I'll give you a better look at that. You can see the Lonely Mountain there with Smaug up at the top. Uh, pretty cool. This is it. This is just an amazing, amazing, amazing piece. Can't stress that enough. Taking a look at the back of the statue, we can see his uh, the scabbard for Orcrist, which is just really nice. It's, I love the woodwork on it. It's really cool. I mean, it's all um, polystone, I believe, but the paint job that's on that. Uh, sheaf is absolutely fantastic. I mean, see if we can zoom in more. Oop. There, you can just see it there. It's just absolutely beautiful. Whoops. His hair as well was sculpted really nicely. He's got grey streaks in there as well, just up at the top, which is fantastic. Uh, if we take a look at towards the bottom of the coat, you can see like little. I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up, but there's some sort of mud splashes on there. Which is really nice, and then again, you got this nice, beautiful fur detailing right here. Uh, just absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love this piece. Uh, now, if we take a look at my Weta Workshop Collectibles catalog, um, we open up to the first page. We can see all the other statues in the line. Uh, there's four on there at the bottom. We got Barlin, Dwalin, Gandalf, Bomber. Bilbo and Gollum which is going to be coming out very soon. Um, now the only ones I have is obviously Foran and Bilbo and Gandalf. I don't know if I'll be picking up any others. I mean these are pretty expensive. I believe Foran cost me like 250 Um So they're pretty expensive but you know they're you're getting your money's worth when you buy them. I mean they're absolutely fantastic pieces. Um, I will consider getting Gollum though. I mean that's pretty cool and it goes with the Bilbo statue. Um, so that's really nice, um, but yeah, I definitely expect reviews on those very soon. Um, so yeah, guys, that was uh, my review of Foreign Oak and Shield. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next will probably be the Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins statue and then Gandalf. Alright guys, see you later. Bye.